Okay, so this is a little different. Well, for me. Hey, y'all. APG Jamie here. And today we're going to experiment play using wax paper, you know, regular kitchen wax paper and some alcohol inks. Because, you know, I've been playing with the alcohol inks lately and there will probably be more alcohol inks coming. Anyways. So, I've got um, my plastic alcohol thing that I got from Tanya McGuire. Anyways, that's on the bottom. Then I have a plain sheet of wax paper. And then I have this crumpled up, scrunched up one. And uh, you can see we're sprinkling around um, alcohol inks. And I must say, I am liking this paper. Because, you know, it's wax paper. It's paper with wax on it. Okay? Okay. And I don't currently have gloves on. I will add some gloves to my hands. And it will be a good thing that I did, as you'll see. Because wait till you see. Oh, my goodness. Anyways. So, we're smooshing them around. And y'all know I do have the ability to use just probably more than, more than I should. But, you know, hey, what can I say? Here's the gloves. They're, they are already experienced gloves. They have now been disposed of gloves. Because <laughs> they got over experienced. And that is the 99 or the 90% isopropyl uh, alcohol in that blue spritzy bottle. And I thought, well, I need to smoosh this around. So I got another piece of wax paper and smooshing it, smooshing it. And we're just going to smoosh that around, okay? And I was actually a little surprised at how much bled through the wax paper. Now, of course, with it being all scrunchled up, there are cracks and all that stuff in within the uh, wax paper itself, all right? So, you know, there's that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So then we have this piece. So I started fold, not really folding it, but kind of folding it over on itself to double up some of the um, richer parts, you know, that had a little more on there. And um, I didn't want them to overly blend, but you know, that's kind of what happens with me when I use so much product like this. So yeah, it's easy to get carried away with the alcohol inks, y'all, for me. It's pretty. I'm like, okay, yeah, I like that. Okay. So, now we have this one. And uh, as you can see, it soaked through as well. And I well, let's just put some other colors on here because, you know, this, what, fuchsia, pink, turquoise, purple, blue, all that. Yeah, it's probably pretty well dryish. So we're going to put some greens on there because, you know, we like mixing warm and cool colors because, you know, they make things shockingly interesting in mud. In this case, they did, they did all right. They weren't too horrible bad. And we're just going to spritz some alcohol on there. I did not use any blending solution of any brand whatsoever. I think most of the inks, I don't even know what brand they were. They were alcohol inks, y'all. Guy, okay. whatever brand they were, that's that's they were alcohol inks, and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of taking it. So, and then I will do one later, but I don't film that part because you know, once you've seen it, you're kind of like, yeah, I see that. And I do have this alcohol lift ink, and I will say I've had it for a long time, and I haven't used it yet. So I thought, well, let's just go ahead and try it. I mean, what the heck? We're playing. So, I uh, inked up that stamp, and uh, I'm just going to stamp it on the cardstock, because you know I love the cardstock. Anyways, and um, it, it did just fine. This is a fine, I find, just fine, just fine, fine, fine. Uh, this stamp has uh, finer detail lines on it, okay? And uh, I did it the way you're supposed to, you know, you stamp, of course, they do it when they, whoever they are, Timmy, uh, uses it um, on uh, UPO paper, okay? 
I, I'm just using the wax paper because, you know, it's, we're just playing here, you know. And I'm cleaning my stamp with the alcohol <clears throat> from the spritz bottle, as you can see. And uh, anyway, you stamp it and you stamp it off onto your other surface. And then um, you buff over where your first stamping, you know, went to lift the alcohol ink off. And I'm wiping that off with a clean, dry paper towel. I can see it in real life. You can't see it so much. Well, I can't on my little editing screen. But, you know, maybe you can on the TV. Uh, but And I took a photograph, and you can kind of see it. That'll be coming out. So I thought, well, let's do this other stamp that's got, you know, uh, not necessarily bolder lines, but more closer lines. And I thought, well, we better clean that stamp first. So that's what we're doing. And this stamp has been on my desk for a while. Oh, and I thought, well, let's just wipe that off. Okay, so that didn't change anything. And uh, where's the lift? There's the lift ink. We're stamping on there. And my lift ink pad is still get, it's getting dirty, even though I cleaned the stamp first. I mean, you know, it's just stuff. So I'm like, yeah, we'll just stamp her right there. And I'm pressing and I'm holding it pretty good. I'm not wiggling. I'm just pressing and holding it pretty good. I probably don't need to press that hard. But, you know, that's just what I was doing. And we're stamping her on the, on the same cardstock and holding it for pretty good. You know, smooshy, smooshy. And this is just, you know, regular surface. I don't have my regular, my regular, see, regular is now the word, um, foam pad under there. And I'm buffing that off again, you know, like I did earlier. And you know, it's kind of, kind of see it, but you can't see it on the camera. I'm pretty real sure about that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's okay. Um, I like how it's stamped off. Oh, see, you can kind, kind of see where the flowers were. I didn't take a picture of the girl because that was just, you know. But this is what it looked like stamped it off. And, and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. You know, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I, you know, I, I can dig it. So, anyway, I went ahead and made a green page because, um, I, yeah, we're doing a project with this stuff. And I thought, well, I want to make some of these these little folders, you know, the Timmy Holtz um, die set with the folder thing. So, that's what we're doing. And um, I thought, well, we want to use our bubble stamp. I should have used green ink, y'all, but I didn't. I'm using stays on because something in my head told me, you know, Archival, I ain't never going to dry on wax paper, all right? Because it's not a, por a porous thing. So we're using this days on. And uh, it was after that I did this stamping. I think I went in for the day, for the night, for the day. And uh, left it overnight, okay? And then when I came back out the next day, I think it was immediately the next day, um, I wiped it, the wax paper off with the clean paper towel, clean dry paper towel, and some of the stays on did come off. I mean, it wasn't much. It was, you know, so, which kind of surprised me. But then I thought, oh, you know, it's wax paper. You know, it's wax. So, anyway. So, we got uh, little folders cut and went around that with, I do show y'all probably in excess of inking, okay, but that's just how it's how it's going to be, y'all. And uh, I thought, well, let's just use the glue stick to stick this on. I ain't sure if it's going to work. It is waxed paper, okay? And we do this and, you know, smoosh that down. And then I think I um, had to go do some errands or something. You know, I'll have to sit there for a while. But we're going to trim around it because, you know, we're trimming around it. I cut it a little big so I'd have plenty. Oh, I have I have plenty of wax paper, let me just tell you. Oh, so now we're going to ink everything up. And I've already, y'all, I, sp I probably spent two hours fiddling through my ephemera bits and bots. Bob's bots, bits, ephemera bits and stuff. 
uh, before I was satisfied with the stuff I was going to put. Y'all really don't want to see me do that. I know some of you are like, oh, yeah, we, we do. We would love to see you, your process for how you do that. And I'm like, no, you don't, because I don't have a process. I just put it on there. Do I like it? Yeah. Do I not like it? No. Okay, put it over here. Wait a minute. Do we like this with that? No. As you can see, the wax paper did not stick. So we're using our glitter glue. As far as I can tell, and it's been three or four days now, so you know we're voicing over in hindsight here, that has held the wax paper pretty good. So uh, we're using the green because some of the paper I used was um, $100 bills. Wah, wah, wah. Not real $100 bills really big ones from the Dollar Tree, I think is where they came from. They were written on them, and it said something about Greenbrier, so I'm pretty sure that's Dollar Tree. Anyway, that's why I went ahead with the green, because I'm like, well, they're not green. They're black and white, but anyway, that's where the green came in, just so you know. And anyways, so now we're inking. We are using coffee, black soot, and a green... Versafine that I got free with some order whatever so you know I, I, I don't even it's Versafine other than that I couldn't tell you what it is anything about it so I'd already laid out everything had everything pretty well figured out like I said I, I piddled with it for a couple hours all right and I'm like okay I'm just I'm just tired of looking at this stuff so I paper clipped it paper clipped it stuff together and um, went in the house <laughs> Uh, this is probably again the next day now come back out i'm like okay yeah we will go ahead and continue on with what i last thought i would do because i took pictures you should take pictures with you know your mobile cellular device because it's very handy for taking photographs for reference so you can go back and go what did i want to do again anyway that is a stamped out, stamped out, obviously. No, maybe not, obviously. A uh, car that I got from the Hobbit Lobby clearance of 2023, spring 2023. And uh, it is fussy cut out. I do not have a die. I don't even know if they make a die. And who who's the manufacturer on it? I don't know. There might be a list of ingredients in the description below, and it might just be a loose ingredient list, okay? If you have specific questions, I can try to specifically answer your questions on the Atlantic side of things, but I don't know. We'll try. So, uh, various ephemera bits. Some of them are, you know, ones that I stamped out, um, you didn't see me stamp them out, but I did. I, you know, I did. Some of them are you know, store-bought ephemeris. Some of them look like that piece I just took on there. It was an already experienced piece of ephemera, meaning it had already been used somewhere because it was cut, and the other part had been used, I guess is what I'm trying to say in a long-winded way. And as you may have noticed, I put some little extra tuck spots because, I mean, you know, I like them. I don't know what I'd ever put in them, but, you know, they're there. And this is, uh, came with another dice. It's a die set. I don't know. I, hopefully I wrote it down off the top of my head. I don't know. And um, it's, I'm making it like a specimen, even though it's technically, I don't think it's a specimen envelope. But, you know, whatever. Use it how you want to. You bought it, you paid for it. Use it the way you see fit. Okay, as long as you're not hurting nobody, it's all right. So we're using double-sided tape, and it, and it ends up being too much double-sided tape. And y'all have seen me do this before with that weird, bumpy, rumpy, yellowy eraser thingy. It helps to to remove unwanted glue bits. Okay, it works pretty good. Just saying. There it is. Dollar Tree has those as well. Ah, uh, y'all. Any hoodoos. That was just packaging the cellophane from uh, probably one of the stamps or one of the ephemera bits or something. And we are just going to put this together because 
We have birthday bugs. Y'all remember my the Timmy Timmy bugs I got for my birthday in twenty two. Uh, you know, I got the die set for the bugs, entomology, and, and the stamps as well. So that's what we're going to use. You'll see, they'll be coming up. And that's just a card cut down the size. Uh, the folders I cut from a heavy uh, vanilla cream ivory colored card stock. And this is just some of the scrap. And I cut it down to fit inside that handy dandy now specimen envelope thing. And we have black cardstock, cut the, the, the bugs in a black cardstock. And these uh, bugs are, uh, I don't know, whatever whatever color they're stamped for. I don't know what they are, y'all. I don't know what they're painted with or colored with or whatever. So, anyways, that's what we're doing. And, and it just adds just a little bit of a shadow. It almost makes them creepy. Oh, almost. Oh, you know. Almost. So, now this is that uh, bug envelope, specimen envelope thingy. And I thought, well, we need to put some words on there. And uh, this was a stamp I found at the Joann's. I think it was on Clarence. Y'all know my boyfriend Clarence. Anyway, and I have that signature one because uh, Seven Plaza told me I needed it. Well, she didn't tell me I needed it, but she she had it, and I thought, oh, my God, I need that. So, yeah, it's got signatures on there that we stamped. And we're going to use these handy-dandy rub-ons that my secret internet admirer sent to me. Thanks again, whoever you are. Love them. So that's what we're using. And just a couple. I think I only use a couple, but yeah, it's all right. I'm using them. That's the name of the game. So, squishing that on there. I'm going to put one on top of the cellophane. And, um, which you really can't tell it's on top of the cellophane until you take the card out. And you're like, oh, wait, that number's still there. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Anyways. Just all journaling spots if you happen to do that kind of thing. Now, this is the Warshi. Uh, I got a set of Warshi stamps. You know, they're big giants. See, you can see how big giant it is. Uh, Warshi stickers uh, from the Amazonians. And um, I, didn't, I, I didn't like the outside border so much because I want it hidden underneath the bug specimen envelope thingy. So that's what we're doing. We're sticking it down. No extra glue. Can you imagine that? I didn't use any extra glue. I know. I thought about it and I thought, oh, it better never come off. So here's a piece of ephemera. And uh, like I said, you're going to probably see more ink in than you might want to. But you love, you love hearing me talk about it. So. So that's going to go there, and it's going to be sort of a tuck spot. It's not technically a pocket, even though it is a pocket, because our bug specimen envelope thing is going to slide down in there. See how it looks with that stamp I saw? That sticker stamp. It's cool, y'all. It sticks in there. And then I'm like, yeah, don't, don't glue itself down. I'm like, oh, we need just a little more glue over here. And Look at that uh, wax paper, y'all. Alcohol inked wax paper. Oh, yeah. I have another project coming up. I use it, some of that for that, too. Oh, yeah. That's a happy. That's a happy right there. And it only took, you know, two days to make. No, it didn't take two days. Um, it probably only took about 30 minutes to make. I just left it all night because I was letting it stay on try anyway I have these little stamped images and stuff on scrap cardstock in die cut scrap cardstock we're just smooshing around the ink now I'm, I'm like well is this going to be a little tuck spot too because why not if you're gluing this stuff down why not I mean, you could just stick a little piece of paper in there and says I love you or you're rotten, or I hate bugs, or oh, I love my birthday bugs, kind of thing. You know, whatever kind of little 
journaling note you want to leave for yourself or somebody else or happy mail. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you want to do with Okay. I thought, oh, I just need something, something. So I turned the camera off, and I spent um, two days looking for whatever that something was. No, I didn't spend no two days. I just spent uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Because I don't know what I want to put in places. That's why it takes me so long. So I don't know what I want. So I found this little teeny tiny butterfly, and I thought, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. So there we go. There, a little envelope touched right in there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to burnish it down because it doesn't seem to want to stay closed so much. Well, you know, it's got all that extra stuff in there. Not extra stuff. That, it's a heavy cardstock card that's in there. Now, I want to put a thumb notch in there. So we're going to put a thumb notch in there. You didn't necessarily need to see this part, but you know, there you are. You get to see it. You're welcome. And proceeding on to, are we doing the back or the front? I don't know. Oh, this is a whole nother little folder thing. I'm not letting y'all leave just yet. Don't be leaving just yet. So we're putting in uh, some paper, just two pieces of paper. And we're just going to glue it in. You know, I could have sewed it in, but, you know, there's enough stuff in the book gap. So we're just putting a little thinny, thinny skinny line of, of glue. Just smooshing it down, and it works just fine. See, it folds that, and then it flips over, and it flips over, and it folds over. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we probably ink up stuff. Oh, at some point, believe me, we're going to ink stuff up. Are we doing the back now? Oh, yeah. I had this, this die cut thingy. I think it's like a book corner. You know, the metal book corner thingies. Only it sort of folds up and makes a pocket. I don't know if it's supposed to be a pocket or if it folds over the edge of something just to be a pretty corner. Anyway, I'm putting it on there like a pretty corner as a corner tuck pocket thingy. And then we're going to use that $100 bill that I have previously alluded to. I've already folded it and made it into a little pocket itself. It's got a little thumb notch and everything. And now we're going to ink it all up. And again, I don't know if we're using coffee, black soot, or that VersaFine green. Oh, evidently it's just one. Whatever that one color is. Oh, and I see the face on the other side. And I'm like, yeah, let's put Franklin uh, looking at. Okay. <sighs> Only person on on the, our American U.S. money that was not a president. Just saying. Benjamin Franklin. He was a diplomat, not a president. So I tuck him down in that pocket. Because, you know, in my mind, now we have the little fancy corner pocket. He, the bunny, there is a pocket, and then we made a pocket behind him. So it's like a three thing. Then later on, when nobody was looking, I tried to tuck something in that fancy scrolly pocket, and it didn't want to go in there so well. And I'm like, well, forget that. And I just kind of glued it down on top of Franklin. Benjamin, that is. You know. So here's another bug, and I puffed him up with some scrap cardstock, so it would be just a little puffy in the middle, okay, and not a lot. In fact, most people, most people probably wouldn't even notice he was puffed up just a little. So he's got his little shadow. We're putting him on the black cardstock, so he's got his little shadow, okay. Only the shadow knows. I think that was a rerun when I was a kid. Wasn't that a TV show? I don't know. Anyway. It's been a while since the 1900s, y'all. So he's going to go there. Now, to me, he really looks like a cockroach. I don't know for sure that it's a cockroach, but that's what he looks like to me. So he's going to be coming up out from behind this pocket tuck thing. Because y'all know I like to... I know. I've said it once. I've said it a million times. You might as well make it into a pocket tuck spot because, you know, save that glue for something else, all right? 
just glued two sides, three sides. Okay, what else do I want to put there? I don't know. I'm like, yeah, let's put this over here. Okay, let's put that down there. I'm going to line it up, and then we're going to glue it on. And that's what we're doing. So, just stick it out a little bit. Now, see, that little brown thing is stuck underneath the green, which is a tuck spot pocket thing. I will probably slide something in and out there specifically so Hottie Popo can see it. Because she likes to see people put stuff in and out of pockets. It's this whole thing she does. I, I don't know. I can't explain Hottie Popo to you. So, see? There it is. In and out. <laughs> Let's put this one right here. Okay, we'll do that. It's not like I said, some of these things are stamped things and some of these are ephemeras. And now we're going to cover the uh, the folder tab thingy and we're going to put one on the back. I know, just wait, y'all. I know this is so interesting. You're riveted. Oh, the speed, the video is way sped up. It's all hyperdrive, y'all. It is all in hyperdrive. And I had these stamped pieces of fabric. And I'm like, I really want to use them. I think I used them, but not necessarily the way I was originally going to use. Uh, so, you'll do some eyelets onto the little tab, the folder tabs. I know. It's two separate folders. I know. Just just wait for it. You'll see. We will eventually get there. Okay? I know it seems to just be rolling on and on. And just let me go ahead and say right now at this point, these two eyelets both set very well. That's the first time I think I've ever set the eyelets, and I didn't have to go bam it with the hammer. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Mm-hmm. So, now we're going to put the two folders together and make a pocket. Yes. Yes. It's a pocket. We're going to clamp them together because, you know, it is heavy cardstock. And it didn't necessarily want to be, you know, that friendly with each other. Like, y'all going to be best friends because y'all are living together forever. And now we got packaging because we need some tags to put in all these pockets we made. I'm looking, I have another piece of packaging that is a little bit smaller. And I would have to cut it less to make it fit in the pocket. So that's what we're doing. Trimming it up. Because you can use your packaging. You paid for it, you can use it. Okay? That's why they put that fancy print and stuff on there. We're gluing it all together. I think most of the glue used in this project has been art glitter glue. But I can assure you, assure you, I used my favorite Aileen's Original Tacky Glue, too, at some point. I don't know if I got film, but I did use it. Okay. Inking and inking. I think I double ink with the brown and the black because it just made it look more butter. And yes, I like that little hole in there. You'll see. If you wait for it, you'll see. I'm like, okay. I didn't wait a whole long time for stuff to dry either, okay? Now, I think by this time, my husband is on his way home from work. And and I typically, I quit working when he calls me and tells me he's on his way home. So I can get in the house and hurry up and do something like I've worked all day or something in the house. But, you know... He knows better. Anyway, I do try to cook dinner. I open a box and a can. That's usually that usually suffices. Okay. So we used one of those stamped out pieces of fabric, and then this brown ribbon was over there. And I thought, well, how does that look? I thought, well, that looks fabulous. So we're just gonna uh, staple this together and. My little stapler gives me fit sometimes. It'll be like half staple and half not. Of course, if it's only half, the other half isn't. And sometimes it doesn't, you know, staple worth a darn. And you got to pull it out. And you're like, oh, man, i got to pull that out. And uh, y'all, my Amber Alert is going off on my phone again. I don't know about where y'all live, 
but we've been having Amber Alerts about every two to three days for a couple of weeks, well, since school let out. It's just been crazy. Anyway, well, at least I think it was an Amber Alert. Might have been weather. No, I doubt if it was weather. It's just hot, y'all. Oh, my God, it's summer. Heat index 118. Police Mother Nature. So, I thought I'd make this fancy closure. Okay, that's why we put the eyelets in there, so we can make a fancy closure. So, I need a little dangly dangly. Uh, I'm going to get some uh, ball chain. You know, those little mini pins. M-I, M-I, mini, M-I, N-I, mini pins from the Dollar Tree. They used to have them. You know, I made flat pins out of them. Well, I've got all these lids, and they had ball chains on them. Okay. Oh, you'll see right there. And uh, I had to do something with them. So I try. Sometimes I think to use them. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to pin that one down there. And I fiddle around with it because I'm like, oh, this isn't working. Why isn't this working? And I, at this point, I really didn't even know I was recording. See, that happens sometimes. It's like, well, I wasn't supposed to be, but I did. Or I was supposed to be, but I didn't. So, you know. I know, crawfishing. And then I'm like, well, that's a little too loose, so we're going to trim some of that chain away. Chain away. Trim the chain away. And, uh, I mean, you know, we took, we cut off, what, three little balls? <laughs> ah, y'all. I should have trimmed away, you know, about six of them little things. Anyway. Get ready. Flippy floppy time. Y'all love this part. Don't you? Get with it. Okay. So here's our little journal. We got our front. Here's our back. Here's the front again. I'm going to unhook the ball chain. But my husband later informed me all I needed to do was undo the safety pin and it would have worked just fine. Just champ. He's okay. He's just dreaming. Okay. He's chasing squirrels or cats or something. See, it's a little tuck spot. That car's a tuck spot. So, here's our little buggy. That comes out. A little journaling spot on the back. If you happen to do that kind of thing or you want to, you could put other things in there. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh, here's that pocket between the folders. Made from the packaging. I think all that when I glued some coffee dyed uh, paper to cover up some of the stuff on the back. Here's this fun little tag. See? So you can't see the bugs. They're just like, bam! All of a sudden, it's a bug. Ooh, it's a bug. Here's our little notebook part. A journaling spot or whatever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's the back. And like I said, I glued the little frilly thing down. So, Benjamin's got uh, one pocket in the front and one pocket in the back. Both of those are made from packagings. And get ready. Ta-da! Photomontage! <laughs> I like how the alcohol lift ink stamps the stamps back out. The way I used it, it wasn't that impressive. But if you used it on new po paper, I'm sure it would be. You know, I used wax paper. Again, that's what this whole video was about. was this alcohol waxed paper. And I must tell you, I'm digging that stuff. Okay? Don't glue stick it. Because it don't glue stick. Alright? Wet glue. Maybe, maybe double-sided tape. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. And a little project made me happy. And it will find its home in that little box, the Timmy box that my secret internet admirer sent me. I didn't photograph it in there, but, you know, that's where it's going to end up. Just saying. Oh, what a fun little project. And all oh, the alcohol ink paper. Mm -hmm. You could do that a lot. A lot. Run out of room to put my excess papers. Thanks for watching. And 
Happy artin', y'all. Wax paper is waxy.